Hello people, welcome back to Clantastic Gaming. This is your host Star Lord and today I have a bunch of news for you guys. But before moving on, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for more stuff like this. So as I talk you through all the info I have, enjoy some replays. So the balance changes and the so much awaited clan wars update were about to drop on the 24th of April. But I don't see them anywhere. I was literally checking my mobile phone minute after minute to see if the update has arrived but it didn't. So regarding this matter, Clash Royale posted this tweet saying that they found a last minute bug in the update so they are delaying the update. Yes you heard it right, they are delaying the update by one day. Also. The balance changes about which I discussed in my last video which you all can find right here were also supposed to come along with the clan wars update but they are delayed too. Clash Royale posted this another tweet saying that for some of the balance changes it requires client update which means that you actually have to go to the app store or play store depending on your OS and update the application. So what that means? One more day to rock the arena with some dark prints. So that was all the bad news or kinda bad news but 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 I have some good news too. Finally we have some info about what is clan wars and how it will work. So first of all there will be seasons, clan war seasons. These seasons will last for 14 days that is 2 full weeks which is pretty short than the latter season which usually lasts at least 30 days. In these 14 days span clan war can be played at any time. Now how long will be a single clan war? That is 2 days. Yes just like the clash of clans has it 2 days for a single war. But in clash of clans as you all must be knowing the first day is for troop donations and basically to prepare for the war and second day is to attack. But here we don't have a base so will there be donations on the first day and the actual war on the second day? We don't know it yet. This would be crazy if a level 13 can donate max level card to level 8 to play in the war. We will find about it tomorrow. Talking about the levels, players will be eligible to participate in the clan wars after reaching level 8. So unfortunately my current account needs a bit of time to reach level 8. And just like the clash of clans, war can be started either by the leader or the co-leader anytime. Yes, anytime. You just got out of the bed, start a clan war. You had a rough day at work, start a clan war. You are on a date, start a clan war. But within that 14 day span. And after the clan war is over, some chests will be rewarded. Now it makes sense why they plan to remove the clan chest and still said that people will be able to monitor who is active in the clan and who is dead. Now let's talk about what kind of matches will be seen in the clan wars. Matches in the clan wars will be of both type, 1v1 and 2v2. But they have not mentioned that will the players be able to choose which type do they want to play or they will just go with the flow. Talking about the matches, the biggest news that struck the Clash Royale community is that there will be no tournament standards in the clan wars. Yes, no tournament standards which means that there will be not same old 3 musketeer decks, not same old spell bait decks, there will be like uh, level 5 legendaries, there will be level 8 expos, level 13 royal giants level 13 elite barbarians and stuff. So the catch here is clan wars is just not to check your skills in the game it is also to check how far you have progressed. But I don't understand one thing here. How will they do the matchmaking? How can they not make it tournament standard? If they do the matchmaking on the basis of trophies then the clans will just drop the trophies to face easier opponents. And if they do it based on the king's level people will just over level their cards. But it is understood that Supercell is not a 5 year old kit. I hope they have thought about it and implemented some good matchmaking. Moving on, it is confirmed that there is no new arena coming with the update. No Atlantis arena, no Kryptonian arena, nothing. But there may be some sort of new arena as it was teased in the news royale with the boat and the island stuff. Maybe it seemed like the home base and the war base in the Clash of Clans. 
and the final news is there will be new card coming to the game but not with this update in the month of may so we will have to wait about a month for this so guys these were all the info i was able to get from the tweets and couple of other sources so after seeing all this there are some things which i like and some things which i don't which obviously includes cutting off the tournament standards but these are all my thoughts the update is yet to arrive maybe it will be unexpectedly good we don't know a damn thing about it yet so let it come and let us test and then it might be a good time to review the update since last few months all the update have been pretty good and let's hope it does not disappoint us and hopefully it will change the course of the game at least for a couple of seasons so guys this was all about the clan wars update the update will arrive on 25th of april i just can't wait to get my hands on it so what do you guys think what you guys were expecting are you happy with the update or you're like this do let me know in the comment section and this will be the end of today's video hope you guys like my content and if you do then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more stuff like this i will see you all in the next video till then take care and keep clashing